and we place the application somewhere. And what this will do is it'll launch the demo. Welcome to Holographic Medical Anatomy from Case Western Reserve University and this holographic This is a brief uh, guided demonstration following my to show the kinds of learning cool. HoloLens makes. Okay, Look so we around. need to do you see a green disc? Orient the this demo. We air tap. Pictures and organs. Three-dimensional holographic models can dramatically change the way we learn and the way we teach. So this is a hologram, so we can walk all the way around it. When our full holographic medical anatomy module it. is developed, a virtual narrator like me can guide you through learning objectives. Or you may use it to look at holograms with a group of classmates and a professor to simulate a lab type setting. You may also use it to study on your own or to participate in class remotely. And even if you don't have HoloLens, you can access this module from a conventional computer screen. Although you can access it from a computer, I don't think the experience would be as nice without the HoloLens. Next. Using HoloLens, we can explore whole biological systems individually or together. Next. In the skeletal system, we can see the individual bones of the arm and how they connect to the muscles. And we can see the muscles of the face and how they control our expressions. You can actually look through the skull and all the tissue and how the muscles connect. Next. HoloLens also lets us examine individual organs and structures in exquisite detail. Here is the gastrointestinal system. We can learn about individual organs. Next. In gross anatomy, or even in a surgery, we are often limited to a front-facing view of these organs. With HoloLens, you can walk around the patient for a more comprehensive perspective. Notice how the best view of the pancreas may be from behind the patient model. Next. Let's learn about some of the regions of the brain. <clears throat> the occipital lobe processes vision with special sensitivity to edges, contrast, and motion. The frontal lobe controls movement, speech, problem solving, and emotion. And it lets you interact with it with a voice. Beat. Okay, so you can kind of look at this ginormous heart and uh, look into the function of it by cutting into the one of the chambers and actually looking at a valve and how they operate. Probably a view that would be very difficult. And to... now, have fun exploring the heart. Condition one, normal heart rate. Now take a look at this healthy human heart beating at a level of 80 beats per minute. A normal heart rate is defined by 60 to 100 heartbeats per minute in resting adults. Bradycardia is, per definition, below 60, and tachycardia above 100 beats per minute. Condition 2. Condition 2. Myocardial infarction. Let's look at condition 4. Condition 4. Atrial fibrillation. Condition 4. Atrial fibrillation. Unlike ventricular fibrillation, atrial fibrillation is not directly life-threatening. Approximately 70% of AF attacks are not even noticed by the patient. Peach is essentially a collaboration between University College London Hospital and University College London. And the aim is to bridge that gap between research and clinical practice, and not just within one institution, but throughout the whole of the NHS. This year, thanks to NHS Digital, we have approximately 86 projects. Currently, eight are mixed reality using the HoloLens. Everything we know about how we interact with data, how we interact with patients, is limited by the technology we had before. What we're doing is exploring new ways of working. Surgeons and most people aren't trained to look at CT data, which is just layer after layer, cuts through the body. And it's very difficult to equate that 
with the person they're operating on, the 3D model. So what we're trying to do is make that whole process a bit easier. At the moment, we're focusing on developing the actual pipeline from CT scans to 3D models. We've got machine learning organ segmentation, so it automatically extracts the kidneys from CT scans and then delivers it to, to Peach. Having that presented gives the surgeon a good idea of what approach to take to surgery and whether it's feasible or not. What it'll do for a patient is to inform them of what their tumour is like and gives them an insight into their own body. The Every operation presents a challenge for the surgeon. After all, they bear the responsibility for the successful outcome of the procedure. To minimize such risks, Apocular is developing a mixed reality application that enables surgeons to view CT and MRT imaging of the patient in 3D during the operation. The digital images are generated from the original CT or MRT scans and loaded into the mixed reality headset. A comprehensive representation then appears, complete with all the anatomical structures. This can be freely positioned in the user's field of vision. The real-life environment of the user remains completely visible at all times, presenting a big advantage over virtual reality. The application recognizes the individual patient and immovably fixes the 3D scans to the surgical site. Using gestures and speech commands, the surgeon can then remove superfluous layers and structures, adapting the 3D image to their requirements. The high digital precision greatly increases the safety of the surgical intervention as mistakes resulting from anatomical misjudgments are avoided. The mixed reality application from Apocular revolutionizes surgical procedures, providing huge gains for precision, error prevention and quality control. It also leads to considerable reductions in cost due to time saved.